Morning Internet, Hatch 61 here. Out here enjoying the great outdoors. This is the last day of my five day solo camp. And I'm gonna try my hand at a little fishing here. So, because of weight restrictions and everything else, uh, you can't bring much along. You can't bring poles and all that stuff. So, the same company that makes the Emberlet stove, this is the Fire Ant model, uh, also on their Facebook page for their regular customers. Uh, by the way, this Emberlet stove folds up into this tiny little pouch. It's great doesn't weigh anything uh, but on his Facebook page he said he was gonna chop making some of these little hand lines and for his regular customers and stuff like that he was offering them up uh, I'm not sure if they're on his website for you know regular sales but uh, if you go on his Facebook site you still may be able to see the post so I'm gonna try this and see how we do catching some fish uh, I did bring along a tiny little tackle box that's in a Zippo tin it's just some hooks and that type of stuff I make my own bobbers and stuff from a piece of wood a little flat piece of wood I just whittle with a hole in it Bob is nice I dug up some worms well, dug them up I just rolled over some logs and some rocks and gathered a bunch of worms and we're gonna see how we make out so this is hatch 61 we're gonna try this great new hand line that I got from the uh, manufacturer of ember lit stoves so hang on we'll give it a test all right let's see what's for dinner wind's really kicking up and when fishing with a hand line you got to play all the uh, outside conditions in your favor you know if the wind's blowing in this direction and you want to get down into that area cast straight out the wind will take it bring it right over to where you want to fish so hopefully we'll catch something here hang on Well, this is the first catch of the day. <laughs> nice toothy pickerel. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, if I was starving, I'd eat it, but I ain't gonna eat this thing. So, we'll let him go. <sighs> there we go. He let himself go. So, it does catch fish. Let's see if we can get something that's edible. Hang on. Try again. Okay, here we go. Fish on. <laughs> it's an eater. <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs> nice perch. We're gonna have some dinner. So I'm gonna catch a few more of these and uh, we're gonna have something to eat. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs> well, bottom line, it's a fun little, uh, fun little hand line. Uh, can you catch fish with it? Sure. Caught a little bit of everything today. Caught pickerel, caught perch, caught crappie, caught bluegill. Uh, all were just worms that I, you know, found just flipping a log over or a rock over. But, you know, if you want to just have some fun, you throw it in your pack. And even if you're not doing it for survival purposes, if you're just doing it to, you know, enjoy the outdoors and, and have a little, little fun at the same time, whether you're out here with your kids or you're out here by yourself, great little thing. You can make your own bobbers you can make your own stuff that goes with it uh, make a whole day out of it so this is hatch 61 thank you for keeping me company out here it's been a fun adventure the last five days and uh, ends with a nice fishing trip so you can't go wrong with that so thanks for coming along this is hatch 61 take care now and have a great day